أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا Allah says those of you who claim to have faith be cautious of Allah اتقوا الله This commandment of having taqwa of Allah is typically followed by another commandment. And it's actually as though to say that being cautious of Allah and being aware of the presence of Allah and being careful not to disappoint Allah or disobey Him has manifestations. So one way you can have taqwa is by doing what Allah is about to tell you in this ayah. وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا sadida. Rough translation says, and say that which is right. Say the right thing. قُولُوا قَوْلًا is simple language, speak. Speak, and whenever you speak, here's the kind of speech it should be, Sadid. Sadid comes from the Arabic word Sad. Ighlaqul khalal, they say. They, something that removes a gap. Sad is also a dam, like you know the dams that block the water from coming. Like in Suratul Kahf, you know, Bayni wa baynahum sadda, or baynana wa baynahum sadda. Put a, put a dam between us. Now what, what, a, what a Sad does is, there's no gaps in it, so no water can get through, and it prevents water from leaking over, right? So one of the implications of Sadid is that you have to speak in a way that doesn't leave room for misinterpretation. You have to mean what you say and you have to be clear about what you have to say to people. You can't be you can't not say what you don't you can't say what you don't mean just to be formal. You know sometimes because there's formalities people say things like um you know, I, you know, you're resigning from the company, you write an email and you're like, you know, I really appreciated my time here and I thank the management for this and that and the other, you're writing this whole thing. But in your heart, you're like, I hate these people, I can't believe I'm leaving this company, these people are so disgusting, etc, etc. There's like this completely opposite thoughts in your mind and what you're putting down in writing. This is not clear speech and this is not open speech. You don't have to be disrespectful in your speech, but you have to be honest to yourself. When I say assalamu alaikum to you and you, when you say wa alaikum assalam to me and vice versa, then actually we've made an open declaration to each other that there is no beef between us, there's no quarrel, there's no fight, I have nothing held against you, I have no grudges with you, I'm, I'm wishing that Allah's peace is on you, that I am at peace with you, I'm hoping your life is surrounded by peace and there is no you know, disturbances in your life, nothing that takes your peace away. That is assalamu alaikum. That's a declaration of peace really towards the other. And it's also a declaration that I have no more issues with you. Now imagine you just had a fight with your wife and you're about to go into the office. Before you slam the door, you're like, assalamu alaikum. She says, wa alaikum <laughs> Slam the door. You did, that's not qawl sadeed. You didn't say what you meant. You didn't mean peace. You just said it because you kind of have to say it. When the Prophet commands us Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you shouldn't talk to, three, three days shouldn't go by and you haven't said salam to your brother. That doesn't mean you like two and a half days later call the guy and like, hey, salam alaikum, like salam, hang up, <laughs> that's, that's over. That's not what the point is. The point is when you say salam and you say what you mean, because the ayah says when you speak, speak what you mean, it's over, it's done, well, let's move on. So salam itself, if we understood what assalamu alaikum meant, and if that became qawl sadeed for us, then our relationships would be totally different. Allah wouldn't let us hold grudges. Like the, just the sunnah of assalamu alaikum doesn't keep us from, keeps us from holding grudges, subhanallah. And then finally the meaning of sadeed also is as-sawab min al-qawl, correct speech. Not only say what you mean, say the right thing. Say the right thing. If you don't have the right thing to say, don't say it. Just remain quiet. So have, the, have taqwa of Allah and only open your mouth when you have something correct to say. And don't say inappropriate things, don't say offensive things. And say things that cannot be, you know, that sometimes people talk like they, in language that has dual meanings. Right? Don't do that. Don't say things that mean offensive, something offensive and it can mean something good too. And you could do that with uh, salam, with your tone. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. Like, okay, what was that? Yeah, like well, Islam, whatever. What is that? That means you are dis disregarding someone with a statement that's supposed to honor them. Say it the way it's supposed to be said. Say it the way it's not misinterpreted. And language isn't just about the words you use, it's the body language, it's the tone you take. All of that has to line up so that the other understands you very, very, very clearly. And they don't read in between the lines. Did you mean something else? Were you speaking in code? We have to learn this. Because when you're upset with someone, and they say, hey, what's wrong? And you say, oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, yes, there is something wrong. And you need to find a respectful way, not to vent, 
but to let others know when something's wrong. This is part of Qawl Sadeel also. May Allah give us the ability to be clear in our speech with each other, and may Allah really give us the ability to turn our salams into Qawl Sadeed, into real clear and meaningful speech that gets rid of all of our grudges that we have against each other. And may Allah give us the strength to forgive one another and build on our relationships, even though we make mistakes towards each other along the way. Barakallahu li wa lakum, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.